good frosty Wednesday morning, everybody. It's actually not that frosty. It's only minus 14 this morning. Nice. That's nine Fahrenheit. Isn't that awesome? You see, that's why we have those really, really, really bone chilling cold weather days where it goes down to minus 30, minus 40. We have those days so that we appreciate the better days. Because there wouldn't be any good days without bad days. If there weren't any bad days, what would we have to compare the good days to? They would all just be normal days and they'd all just be mediocre. Not that exciting. You have a couple of bad days, now you have something to compare the better days to. Now the better days are good days. And there's a lot of good days out there. Okay, because there's only a few bad days. I have bad days too, believe me. Even though I say I'm gonna have a good day, sometimes I have a bad day. But you know what, that makes the next day even better. Because the next day's not as bad. I don't know, I heard this, I think I heard this on a, on a podcast somewhere. This, it's not my quote. We couldn't have good days without bad days. But let's hope for good days, all the time. Let's try to make the bad days as good as we can, but when the good days come, they're great days. There we go, there we go. Now that's mine. Get going. Better put this baby on to roll across the parking lot. Otherwise, you know, you get those people. Trucker Josh! Your seatbelt, Trucker Josh! There you go. See? Just going across the parking lot over there. Making sure everybody feels safe. Alright, let's lock the doors on the pickup first. Uh, let's do that. cab looked that nice. Wow. A lot of traffic in Toulon today. What's going on, people? Everybody's busy at rush hour. Yeah, that guy's turning, and that guy's turning. Okay. Wait, where are you turning, though? You're turning there. You have your signal on. Okay, my turn. Trucker Josh's turn. Let's get on the road. summertime that sounds like a pretty nice nice relaxed way to spend the summer sit inside an air-conditioned cab 
bringing dirt from one side of the pit to the other. <laughs> I think you met him before. I've, I've showed him in the, his name's James. I've showed him in the video a couple of times, a couple of years ago. And he drives those big dump trucks. I think that'd be a lot of fun. I just gotta go up here and turn down this road. And that is where my freight is waiting for me. I've been meaning to go in here and try this food. I've heard it's really good. It's called Fridays. One of these days, Nice little small town diner or restaurant. So we're enjoying warmer weather today, but that also means that we're dealing with uh, messier roads. Oh, they're finally moving house trailers into this lot here. This is a new uh, development here for mobile homes. They just put in all the infrastructure for it this summer. And here you can see other ones that are already uh, installed there. They're making it bigger. Nice. A little bit of a lineup today. Looks like uh, I'll be getting a little, getting loaded a little later than I thought, which is fine. Uh, I'm here for my appointment and there's two trucks in front of me here yet that are getting loaded. One's getting loaded right now, then there's another one in front of him, in front of me. And I'm the third in line now, so fine with me. Lots, lots to do, obviously. So I guess we'll just have to hurry up and wait. Play the waiting game. It's also called trucking, if you want to know. Same thing. We're already all buttoned up less than 40 minutes wasn't the same uh, hurry up and wait that I have to do other days usually here it's pretty quick we got that's this pretty simple freight and uh, it's going to South Carolina once again I wish I could be going with it make sure you send back some warm weather all right Usually, well, at other places, when I say hurry up and wait, usually you gotta hurry and get there just to wait all day to be loaded. Here, there is two trucks in front of me, and I'm still out of here in 40 minutes. That's not bad at all. The guys here are really good. What do we got going on here? Uh-oh, somebody's getting a spanking. I'm gonna have to wait for oncoming traffic to pass. There we go. Mr. D.O.T. M.O.T. here in Manitoba. Handing out spankings. I hope it's not a two for one day, I'm out of here. He's staying back there. Never seen them on this stretch of road before. It's probably why he's here, the element of surprise.
you just can't win in Manitoba winter. We finally had a warmer couple of days, right? And you get the warmth, you're all excited, but then you get the snow. Look at this mess. Look at this mess. Huh? Huh? What's that? Every time. It's okay though, it's okay. That's what we expect. I'd rather have the snow than the cold. Uh, if I had to pick one. I mean, if I, if I had a choice, I'd pick none of them. Christmas and New Year's are over. I have no more use for snow. None. We can truck it all away, load it all up, take it away. Someone out there I'm sure wants it. Oh boy. How do I move this seat? Ah, there we go. Okay, let's go home. Uh, so I don't think we're getting too much snow. Let's just check real quick. It's just supposed to snow tonight. It's not that bad. But that's how it is in Manitoba though, right? In the winter time, either it's super cold, clear skies, super cold, not snowing, or you get warmer temperature, which raises the humidity, and the humidity's got to come back down. It's not going to rain in winter, so what's it going to do? It's going to snow. So when the temperature gets around melting point or below minus 10 Celsius, it's going to snow. If you think about it, it's almost spring. We're a lot closer to spring 2020 than we are uh, to winter, if you think about it. It doesn't have to make sense. You just have to... See? Well, we're closer to spring than we are to next winter. There you go. Ha <laughs> ha! There you go. Just keep that in mind. Next winter is far away yet. It's only supposed to snow till 6 p.m. Around 7 it's going to slow down uh, or stop. And tomorrow... 12% uh, chance of precipitation. Today we had a 99% chance of precipitation. Wow, they got that right. They got that right. That means 1% of the territory within that weather broadcasting like range, 1% of that territory is not getting snow. And I think what they mean by that is 1% of the, the territory is not getting snow. So the, the, the land between where the snowflakes fall, you get one snowflake that falls here, one snowflake that falls here. Right here, it's not snowing. See? That's how they get it. I want to go home. Let me get it, I'm gonna get on the treadmill again tonight. Yesterday I walked an hour on the treadmill. I actually got uh, 3.6 miles in or something. Not bad, not bad if I say so myself. I felt really good after that. So I wanna do it again today and I wanna try doing that every day. It's too cold to go walking outside. I prefer to walk outside. But when it's this cold, we got the treadmill and I'm gonna put it to use. I really, really wanna get Get this belly down a little bit. I'm turning into a little bit of a tub. Okay? I realize that. I want to do something about it. I'm going to try, alright? I'm going to try. Gotta stay healthy. At least I can say I tried. Lock myself in so I can't get out. Whew. It's getting a little bit colder for night again. Still doing a lot better than we were before. A couple of days ago, I'll tell you. Yeah. You guys ready to go outside? You ready? I got my other jacket on. Sweet. I can't be seen. No, not working. I'm working on it. Okay, Wiener, come on, little guys first. Come on, front of the line. Wiener's first. Okay, there we go. Diesel, you're leaving your cow inside. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy, we're just gonna leave him there, okay? Come on, let's go. Go to the yard. Go on. So the Christmas lights have come down, except for that red and green strand there, but that's because uh, that's where the icicle lights go that are hanging on the front of our house right now. So when I take them off the front of the house, I put them there. I disconnected the red and green on the back here and also around the house. It's not special when you light up your yard for Christmas if you leave the lights on all year round or for too long, right? 
It's supposed to be a special season. I already light them up quite a bit earlier than a lot of people. So usually after like Ukrainian or Eastern Orthodox Christmas on January, what is it, 7th or 8th? Somewhere in there. Then I, I turn them off. And then next year is another year. It's coming. 